Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Persona 4 Golden. And we're continuing to head through uh, Risei's dungeon. Uh, so yeah, we have to deal with the Venus Eagles this time. Uh, Empress Arcana. Uh, I believe they are weak to... Ice? Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Fucking hell. Can't remember. Alright, let's just... Kick him in the <laughs> kick him in the dick. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, that pr it, it, he's pretty weak. He doesn't have a weakness. But um, yeah, he doesn't. Uh, uh, but he's defenses aren't that great, so you can just hit him with physical moves and he'll die pretty easily. Yeah, so these things are weak to. Uh, so yeah, they're weak to ice, and they know. Um, Light magic, which can be a bit of a pain in the bum, if you've got any, any anybody who's kind of, uh, you know, weak to uh, light, because that's an instant kill. But, um, yeah. Just make sure nobody's uh, weak to uh, light attacks and you should be alright. <laughs> but there we go, we're done. Shuffle time. Uh, I think I'd just go for experience. There you go. Bit of a boost to the experience. Kanji's now at level 34 and he learns Fatal End. That's a pretty powerful um, physical attack from what I remember. Uses, uh, uses up health though, unfortunately. So yeah, we're on uh, floor number 4. I believe this is 11 or 12 floors. Oh, rain wheel. Uh, these are weak to weak, electricity, so I, I think, from what I remember. Um, don't have a lot of HP, 50, so they're pretty weak. But I think their um, defenses are fairly, uh, like, they're fairly solid defensively, so even if they don't have a lot of health, they're, they're quite... Um, Resilient, if you unless you use <laughs> electricity on them and then they go down like a bitch. Oh, hi Pixie. But I'll get a Chesky instead. <laughs> hi Pixie is actually a pretty good persona to get. Pretty powerful. Anima freeze. Um, what's that do? Oh, exhaust all foes. So yeah, I guess that's worth it. Let's get that. And we also get ailment boost next. Uh, uh, the next uh, ability we unlock is uh, ailment boost, which will increase the chance of people of uh, enemies being susceptible to ailments. So that's pretty useful. Fuck you. Yeah, we're. I don't. I don't know whether we'll fight too many more enemies, unless they just happen to pop out of a chest. <sighs> Fuck you. Got a life stone. So let's move on. There we go. Uh, I think that the mid-level boss is like le uh, level six or seven, from what I remember. So we've got a, a couple of floors to go yet before we have to deal with that. Oh, what's through here? Okay, that's the way up. That's the next floor. So I'll kill you. <laughs> Oh, hi, buddy. Ow. Yeah. So, apparently something I didn't realize. <laughs> it was mentioned to me by someone in one of the comments on one of my videos that uh, apparently with the golden uh, enemy, the golden hands, if you use the physical attacks which use um, health, they actually cause more damage than just physically attacking them normally, which I didn't know, so you know, thank you. <laughs> it's nice to know. So at least I can use that in uh, future dungeons. Fuck you. Uh, okay, these are the Hablery, one of the Hablery's, Forgotten Hablery. Um, good amount of HP. Uh, these things are weak Ooh. I can't remember. Is it electricity? 
Good work, Sensei. That's one so far. Fuck you. Here goes. Oh yeah, the weak to electricity. Boom. There you go. And they're down. Yeah, like I said, I recorded this um a decent amount of time ago, so uh, I don't 100% remember. I should really um ooh Aries, nice. Uh, let's get Aries. Uh, I really should like just have like a a web page open in front of me while I do these. <laughs> yeah, just so I can tell. Okay, what's a good one, you know. What's a good, you know, uh, like, what are their weaknesses and all that kind of shit. It's hard to remember off the top of my head. Fuck you. Let's open you. We've got some chest keys. Spark Vow. I believe that increases electricity's um, power. So electric, uh, electric attacks are more effective, cause more damage. I remember. Anyway. Oh, these guys. These guys. The Rain Leg Musha. <sighs> these are a real pain in the fucking ass. Um, so these guys don't have really have any weaknesses. Uh, um, and they're. F I think they're resistant to pretty much all magic attacks, like uh, SP attacks. So the only thing you can really do is just. Smack them. Just hit them as hard as you can. Uh, they also like to use that attack to boost their critical rate. Um, so they can hit you for a lot of damage. They cause a lot of damage. Yeah, look at that. Especially if they get uh, they raise the critical hit and they hit you with a critical strike. That can really cause some fucking pain. So there you go. Sweet bears last time. Let's get a chest key. Let's get money up. And we've got. Uh, I don't know why I went for that. Yeah, I think that's just because you know I haven't got this. Yeah, I haven't got many hermit personas, so it's worth getting. Yeah. So at this point, it's just like ugh, okay. All right, I'll get rid of you. Because <laughs> remember, any persona that you get, uh, as soon as it's added to your party, if it's brand new then um, that will automatically get uh, added to the uh, Persona Compendium. Yeah, so you don't have to go to Margaret and kind of uh, register them. They're automatically registered if they're completely brand new, so you don't have to worry too much about that. Yeah, it's kind of... The way I've always done it is that basically I just try and get... I don't really focus on, at least when I'm going through dungeons, I don't really focus on keeping, well, what did I do there, on keeping like uh, certain types of persona as it were, I just like, okay, let's just fuse some personas together to get as the most powerful options that I can get going into the boss fight. Um, that's kind of how I do it. And then I worry about, you know, doing social link stuff and having a persona of the right arcana to do that social link later on when I'm kind of outside focusing on the on the social link stuff. I think here I brought, yeah, I brought Yosuke in at this point because Kanji had um, gone a level above him, so let's bring him in. Because I think that is pretty much how the, I, uh, I think Kanji is supposed to be the, the replacement for Chie, if I remember. Or, like, she's, he's of the same type, basically... Fuck that. <laughs> um, basically, he's uh, a big physical hitter, like Chie, and has one elemental attack like her. So, there you go. Silver Dice. Uh, I believe they're weak so to be electricity. Sense. The other one, I can't remember. I think it might be fire. It's either fire or um, light. It's one of the two. <sighs> this is me looking through, trying to work out. Oh fuck! Oh. Oh, the silver dice are weak to ice. There you go. 
fucking hell. Oh, they're not. I guess not. My raging. Damn it. Yeah, I think I was just... Fuck it at this point. <laughs> Let's just hit him. Yeah, I think this guy is... Yeah, uh, I think he's weak to fire. Yeah, this guy as well is kind of a, pe a little bit... Can be a little bit of a pain if you don't deal with him pretty sharpish. Um, because he stands by and then I think he it uses an attack which is can be pretty devastating if you're not ready for it. So Nigi Mitama, Temperance Arcana. Oh, let's get both of them. They're brand new. There we go. Shit. Uh, do I have any Temperance to replace? No. Because I've already got Kid King Frost um, registered, so it's no big deal. Yeah, I'm kind of... <laughs> but at this point, I was just like, fuck it. I just need as many new Personas as possible with as many different Arcanas. Oh, cool. Alright, let's go back now. There's one more um, pathway which we haven't looped through. Hi, Golden Hand. How are you? Don't mind me, I'm just going past you. Fuck you. <laughs> <coughs> and for that, we get a bead. Nice. Uh, that recovers health and SP. Yeah, I think bead recovers health and SP, so it's pretty useful. Try and get as many of those as possible. Because I don't think you can buy them. I think they just, you know, they're drops in uh, from enemies and in dungeon and in chests and stuff. So, fuck you. Purifying salt. What was I doing? Was there another way that I missed? Oh, right, right at the beginning. Fuck. <laughs> I was trying to remember what the fuck I was doing there. I guess it's not the sixth floor where we fight the enemy. I think it's the next floor up. Okay. Let's open you up. Yeah, that's something that happens in this dungeon as well. In the dungeons, like, from when you start getting new party members. On random floors, basically, um, the people who aren't in your party will just be standing around in a room on one of the floors. Uh, and you can basically talk to them and basically swap them out if you want to. But it's not a reliable way of swapping out party members, which is why it's a bit of a pain in the bum. Uh, now, the thing is with this thing, which you might think it's kind of a strange one to do, uh, you might think that, that, that the, you know, making it completely dark makes this kind of difficult. In all honesty, no. Uh, because, you know, you've got the mini-map right in front of you, so it's actually no big deal at all. You can still see what's coming your way. Uh, Black Feather, another accessory. I have no idea because I never use it. <laughs> so there you go. In fact, that's something that I've kind of realized that I don't really use a lot of accessories in. I don't bother changing accessories a lot with my party members. <sighs> like normally I just stick to, you know, whatever the uh, okay. Blooming Bambino, Bambino, I believe is weak to ice? No, maybe not. I think it might be weak to fire. Yeah, there we go. Using Aguilar, so yeah, tweak to fire. Well, uh, I guess, oh, I guess it's not. I guess I didn't work out its weakness, I just, because I just hit it with fire and it kind of went down in one shot, so he gave a shit, but there you go. Alright, what have we got now? Oh, new persona, we got Hanged Man, the uh, Hanged Man there, and, oh, let's get some more money. But yeah, there you go, that's going to be it for this part. Join me next time for the next part of Persona 4 Golden. We're continuing through Risei's dungeon, um... 
and the next we're going to be facing the mid level the mid dungeon boss um on the next floor on floor seven so yeah see you next time